My name's um, Bernie Broad. I am now a veteran, uh, but joined the army back in 1982 as a junior soldier. I um, was blown up in 2009 as a late entry officer uh, and was medically retired in 2014, hence now a veteran. Uh, and it was one of my last tours and um, second tour in Afghanistan uh, in the end of 2009 that my luck ran out and I was blown up uh, whilst doing a resupply to my soldiers that I, I would have done the resupply again because my soldiers needed the kit and they were going to get it. I, I, I was in a, a, a lorry and I was sort of standing up um, in, the, in the turret manning the machine gun uh, and as we reached a junction in the road and we slowed down my, my lorry was targeted uh, by an IED uh, and the, the, the blast from, from point of me getting to the junction I remember nothing else uh, I was told all about it by a couple of guys who got shot who came back with me uh, on the medical transport to then Selly Oak Hospital in, Bergen, uh, in, in Birmingham uh, injury sustained it took a while I, uh, originally I kept on my limb, limbs, uh, very floppy, uh, I had a big bang on the head, uh, but after a year they, they removed my left uh, leg below knee, uh, but used the bits of the left foot to repair my right forearm. Uh, two years later I lost my right leg, I put as much fighting up as I could, but the right leg below knee uh, was amputated uh, and there was no use for that foot sadly. Uh, then m m both my shoulders when I sort of landed from, from the blast downwards were, were, were crumpled a bit, so th they were compressed uh, so they were sort of sewn back and, and, and put back as best as possible uh, and the last one was was the they call it a blast traumatic brain injury I think I've always had it but a, a, a big bump on the head uh, which meant things weren't working correctly so I now have to still take a few tablets which are if you like hormones that my brain doesn't produce just to keep my well-being uh, as good as it is now and not as good as Invictus that's certainly uh, is best my well-being. In Victor's Games, I am doing three sports, uh, golf, swimming and uh, wheelchair rugby. I suppose the, the training challenges every weekend since the being selected, I, I've been on some formal sports camp. Uh, sport and being fit, or, and which I lost arguably as well, is just amazing. And you forget that, that how healthy mind, healthy body. Actually, it's so, so brilliant. I've lost two stone in weight which is great for prosthetics, it's just great for health, it means you can smile even bigger. Uh, so physically, I've improved massively, I've lost weight. Mentally, I'm sleeping better, I'm more agile, I'm talking to people again. Uh, so it's just a win-win-win situation for me in this Invictus. The, the, the Invictus Games for me has, has been such a massive turnaround. Uh, and, and I think that the, the old con concept of it was a fact of just encapsulating servicemen and just reinvigorating them and resetting them off on their, on, on their, on their journey. Uh, my journey, it was just to re-inspire me, tell me, rather than sit to get my, the old Bernie back to, to doing what he does and does best, which is look after people, work hard and, and be a team player. So, so the, Invic the, the Invictus is just absolutely fabulous and, and thank you Prince Harry for all your concept on it because uh, it's made a massive difference to me and a lot of people I've met in, in the UK team this year and previous years. Sport. Sport will get you fitter, it'll get you more active and it'll get you to meet people and when you're meeting people you'll be talking and, and you'll be do, doing things that you should be doing, you've always done in the services. And when that next email pops up after joining Band of Brothers and Alpha Heroes, and it says Invictus, get out and give it a go. Go to the camps, go and meet people, get out of the house and you'll have a fantastic time. Uh, and, and I promise that, you will have a fantastic time. You'll feel so much better about it. it, it the Invictus bracelet when we got it is gifts that we couldn't open uh, at the launch and the brunch. Uh, it was such a shiny thing, I'm, not, I'm, I'm a man, but a nice shiny thing. It's a memory, it's a keepsake that I will keep forever as, as A, I've done it, B, I'm here. And it just reminds me of the support we've got in the United Kingdom for doing great events like this. And, and, and I thank you all for the support you give the UK Invictus, what it stands for. It's brilliant. If, when watching TV, Invictus comes on, please support it and send all your energy out to anyone competing out there and I mean anyone any country but target the UK 
for them to go. It's not about winning medals, it's about them individuals getting there and doing their damnedest and doing their best at that sport. Uh, and, and with your support, they'll do that. And then please continue to support uh, the United Kingdom and, and, and the concept of it because it, it really is much appreciated. It makes a massive difference.